It's hot out there and the sun is shining bright, but don't let that sun slow you down. Introducing Shady Rays, your ultimate companion for every sunny adventure. With Shady Rays sunglasses, you'll enjoy unbeatable protection from harmful UV rays so you can focus on having fun under the sun. These premium sunglasses come with polarized lenses, cutting through glare and ensuring crystal clear vision wherever you go. Whether you're hitting the beach, hiking in the mountains, or simply strolling through the city, Shady Rays will keep you looking stylish while keeping your eyes protected. Every pair of Shady Rays sunglasses feature their signature lost and broken protection. So if you lose or break your pair for any reason, they'll replace them. And the best part, with our special code, enjoy $20 off your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Head to shady.themanspacepodcast.com. That's shady.themanspacepodcast.com and pick out your perfect pair of shades. Sunglasses aren't meant to be loved. They're meant to be lived in. And with Shady Rays, your sunny days just got brighter. again to another edition of the man space podcast now this is the voice of russ and with me as always is my turkey loving guy the one and only <laughs> big lus <laughs> gang gang this is about to be the, it's about to be the turkey fest this week <laughs> oh man man space oh. nation you know Last week, as you guys are hearing this, it is the week after Thanksgiving. But as we're yeah. recording this, it's Thanksgiving week for us. So, yeah, we're we're, we're joking around today, just like yeah. we did last week. So, we we're got, just gonna have a little fun. Got some turkey ready. But, uh, before we jump into everything, you know, uh-huh. I, I gotta I gotta fulfill a promise that. Mm-hmm. I told the Man Space Nation that I would do from last week. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've heard that. Food alert, food alert. The Man Space Podcast is talking about food again. Food alert, food alert. <laughs> yes, yes, it is a food alert. Uh oh, here we go. Bro. Yeah. I tried the sweet potato pancakes from Ghetto Gastro. Ghetto Gastro. Tell me about them. They're quite good. Are they? They are very good. You get a light sweet potato taste. It's not overpowering mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's just a nice light potato, sweet potato taste. You get mm-hmm. a little bit of the sweetness of a, of a sweet potato, but you don't taste anything artificial. There's no mm-hmm. bad aftertaste or anything. Yeah. It's, it's mm-hmm. good. Ghetto Gastro, got you. And I went on their website, bro. Uh huh. They got oh, some strawberry Lord. ones, dog. Oh Lord, I knew it was coming. Oh, they are on order. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's in there with strawberry. Oh. But Man Space oh. Nation, check out Ghetto Gastro. This is not a paid advertisement. The sweet potato pancakes were definitely on, though. See. I'm gonna have to try them. I done looked at them two, three, four, five times. Yes, but I was wait. The the pictures looked really good though. I I I I, I showed Mrs. Les. Mm. I said, "Babe, you interested in a sweet potato? You know, pancake?" And she looked at me. She's like, "Sweet potatoes is pies." <laughs> <laughs> I got my answer. I got my answer. I got my answer real fast. Oh my gosh. You just never know what's going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> I got my answer quick. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, you know what I did? I just turned around and said, shut up. I was done That's after all you that. You can't do. 
That's all you can do. I was through. Yeah, you just got. I was through. You, you just take, you got to be like Puffy. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take it. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Right. She, she said, I always ask you questions because you're going to tell me the truth. Or you you know, we're going to clown around about something. Yeah. About stuff. And I was like, you couldn't have did that with me? You know what I mean? You was just straight up. I mean, like, that was disgusting. Why would you ask me such foolery? You know what I mean? I was like, well, excuse me, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God. Uh, I told her, I, I said, I'm going to start carrying around a camera and recording you. Because right. people ain't going to believe me. Because she, th- everybody thinks she's so sweet. Uh-huh. She's quiet. She's so sweet. Oh, my God. What are you doing with this clown type? Mm-hmm. You know, telling me the clown. I'm like, y'all have no idea. This woman is savage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she is savage. Mm-mm. But, you know, it's a time and place for everything. She could be, she could be herself when she with me. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like, okay, Miss Savage, I'm going to get you next time. <laughs> you ask me something crazy, I'm going to look at you and be like, no, that's for girls. And I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a little too old for that. Ooh, see yeah. how that one go over. Ooh, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to record that one. Oh, my oh. goodness. We ooh. already had this conversation. She said, she said to me today, mm-hmm. she said, how old are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> I said, I gave her my age, you know, uh-huh. which was a rhetorical question. She know how old I am. Right. She said, why you act so old? <laughs> I said, because I am old. You know, I'm a senior citizen now. You know what I'm saying? I got my AARP card in the mail, cuz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For all that, which 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 highlighted me because she said, "I said, well, when when you become a senior citizen, ain't that sixty? Because she offended me a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. I said, "You're not a senior citizen. You're like sixty something." She's like, "No, it's like fifty. That's why you got your card." I was like, "I'm gonna Google it," and I still I forgot to Google it. To the Google. <laughs> to the Google we go. To the Google. Let's look it up. Yeah, because she kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. I didn't cry or nothing. I just put it, but I was like, dang, she she heartless today. Does she have a bad day at work? You know, <laughs> I even cooked your dinner and stuff today. You know what I'm saying? What age is plus. a 50 plus? Mm-hmm. I'm a damn senior citizen. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Senior citizen. You know, I'm getting my discount. But I'm you going can't to get, get my that discount. early bird special. I'm going to get it. You can't get it at Diddy's. <laughs> you got to be 65 or something. Get that early bird discount. I, I think I threw that AARP card away. I'm going to call them and ask for another one. Man, the, get, the first time I saw one of them junkers pop up in the mail, I started writing back, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you might not be yet, but we yeah. all, by the graces of God, we'll get there. Yes, yes. You know, I yes. think it's cool. I think it's cool, though, man. I I think it's cool to get older, man, because you, you have an excuse to say whatever the hell you want to say. My mother is taking full advantage of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, my mama been taking full care. Of it. She she be like, boy, them pants a little tight. Man, what's wrong with you? Mama Russ is 77. Mm. And she fires them off in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she will yeah. tell you quick. Get the bleep mm. bleep off. Get the bleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get the bleep bleep. That's what me. Bleep, bleep, bleep. That's what I'm talking about. Get him, mama. Get him. Oh, man. Ain't nothing like them old ladies back in the day, boy. Used to be outside with their house coats on, smoking smoking a, a cool mile. Yeah, cool. Or, or, uh, the Newport. Yeah. You know, Newport. Yeah. Cussing at their grandkids. Get y'all at, bleep, 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 <laughs> off of that car. <laughs> and see, I'm yeah, like, so- huh? 
I said, you didn't used to talk like this when you when you were younger. Well, you know I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, if I prove her wrong with anything, well, yeah. you know I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the that's the that's the go forward excuse, the cuss you out excuse, and the fall back. Yep. Yep. I'm old. I'm old, boy. I can't be playing with you. <laughs> But, oh, that's hilarious! So, bro, over over the weekend, right? So, I mm-hmm. I got like vacation vacation time saved up on my job, right? So, yeah, I'm yeah. off like every Friday for the rest of the year. Right? Oh, mm, beautiful be thing, nice. beautiful thing, must right? Be nice. Must be nice. I've always seen people do this, and I've never done it. I'm like, how can you do yeah. this? I'm just like, I would feel guilty about it. I don't feel guilty about it anymore. So, I did it's it because you. That's because you're getting old. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh! So I took off, you know, last Friday. Yeah, man, Mrs. Ross went out to a movie, right? Oh, ain't that sweet? Yeah, middle middle of the afternoon, right? Oh, we, we go to this movie theater, right? And it's uh-huh. one, it's one with the leather seats that recline and everything. Oh, you had to go to the bougie one. Why this thing so dang hood? <laughs> Every seat. Looked like some soul glow was left over it. it yeah, <laughs> the, the oh. on every single seat was wore out. Oh man! That's I'm like, how in the world is this possible? Every seat, they... and and it's the middle of the day on a Friday. There's yeah. four people in the whole theater. Mm-hmm. Me, my wife, and two other people. Yeah. So we had a our pick of seats, right? You know, because yeah. you know when you get to those type of theaters, you gotta choose your seat. No, mm-hmm. we could go anywhere in the theater. Nobody else just, was coming in just there. Relax. Every right. seat was jacked up. Mm. Right, we had to put our seat, our our, our jackets over the seats. Oh, so you could sit your home. head. Yeah, yeah. So your head ain't getting in all this. Mess. Oh no, nah, that's that's horrible, man. Yeah, man. My my wife would have did what you know what what the grandma would have did. She'd open up that purse, whoosh, and these sanitizing wipes, mm-hmm. you know. Or go get some tissue. We're gonna squirt yeah. this thing down. Right, real right. Quick. <laughs> so so we went to see the Marvels, right? Yeah. yeah the latest, the latest, uh the latest, the latest Marvel film movie. Actually, I enjoyed it. I don't care. Oh, so this is one okay. of those things where so many people on the internet trashed this movie. They did. They've been trashing it. I yes. enjoyed it. And and I have mm-hmm. two theories, right? Me, me and T White were having this conversation because he saw it right. as well. Right, mm-hmm. we see that a lot of men have problems with movies with strong female Women leads, leads, unless it's Angelina Jolie. That's about the only one that most men don't complain about. But any other movie, if it's a series or if it has a strong female lead, people mm-hmm. complain. People want to complain about it, right? They don't want to see it, right? Yeah. And you look at this movie; the main villain is a woman. The the three heroes are all women. All women. They they had problems with it, right? Yeah. Oh, so, and they three women from different different ethnic groups. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So of course, you know, I read a bunch of those type comments out there. Oh yeah. Know? Oh yeah. But anyway, I enjoyed the movie, right? Mm, I okay. thought it was good. There's some there it was funny. There was some parts mm-hmm. that was kind of unnecessary, but overall it was a good movie. And mm-hmm. to me it the movie was about the progression of the MCU. It really right. wasn't a movie about anything else about those characters. It was just to progress the the MCU, the Be- timeline, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's it's resetting it and setting across two other movies. That's what this okay. whole movie was about, right? Yeah, they needed that. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So take it for what it was. I enjoyed the movie, right? Mm-hmm. We get a big, large popcorn, you know, mm-hmm. wife having a fit because they don't have Raisinets. <laughs> <laughs> what movie did that don't have Raisinets? Right. She said, we That's a went, staple. We should have went to the dollar store. But <laughs> Oh, my God. But we, we, we get there. She she gets some M&Ms instead, you know. Mm-hmm. So she's, she's getting her little fill on with, you know, putting the M and M's in her little popcorn. She just, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. having, having a great little, time, having a great yeah. time, right? Right, right. Movie right. starts. I look over. I see her head tucked down in her chest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
She got full quick. She got yeah. the itis. Yeah, she got the itis. <laughs> right? You would have thought the M&M's would have gave her a sugar rush. She'd have been up. No. 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 She was done. Right? Yeah. And, and it's a 3D movie, so she got the glasses on. Right? Oh, Lord. So she... Yeah. So I took my hand, right? And I kept running in front of her face, right? Yeah, yeah. She ain't budge, she was done. Right? Yeah. I sat there, like I said, only four people in the theater. So I put the full flash on, right? Took, uh-huh. a, took a selfie of her sleeping, oh, of me no. and her in her sleep. She didn't know. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Did you send it to her? I showed it to her, like, after we got home. Matter of fact, I showed it to her that night. Yeah. That I took this picture. Of oh, us. my God. She's like, I wasn't sleep. Oh, you wasn't? Then when did I take this? Right. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something. If 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 they didn't know, our audience didn't know, she would have threatened to stab me in any portion yes. of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So then oh. to make it even worse, bro. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, I got a meeting. So she she gets up and leaves me in the theater. In to watch. Oh, no. While she goes and jumps on a conference call. Mm, 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 now, mm. when we got the movie, I let her pick out the time because I know her schedule is busy, right? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. my wife, my wife is anybody who who knows us and and sees what she's doing out there knows that she's yeah, got a lot going on. So she, she busy she's lady. constantly on something going on, right? Mm-hmm. And so, like right now, while we're recording this. She's yeah. on her third back to back to back conference call, right? Oh no. Yeah. So mm. so she leaves me to go jump on this conference call, right? Yeah. The movie goes on for like another 35 minutes. <laughs> she do what Miss Les do. Mm-hmm. So it was just like she slept through the whole thing. I'm like, I yeah. paid her extra money for, for nobody. Just, right? you, you paid it, you paid it just for companionship. Yeah. Yeah. At certain points. At certain points. So then, you know, and then we, I come out, we jump in the car, we head home. She's still on the conference call. So we get all the way home. Mm. She's like, how was the movie? I was like, I, I thought it was good. She said, what happened? <laughs> I'm not I knew telling you. Because <laughs> that's what Miss Let's do. She always mm. be like, what happened? Mm. Man, you, can you sit here and watch it with me? Right. I, you you know? can sit here. You can wait until it comes mm. on TV and then you can watch it. We'll be able to do your channel in a few months. Right. You're yeah. going to be all right. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. This that has been an hilarious. ongoing thing with her in movies and falling asleep. And yeah. I understand. Sometimes when you go to a movie theater, that mm-hmm. movie theater sleep is quite good. But but these soul hey. glow chairs and everything else, I I've couldn't get going. There. Yeah. Man, my, my knees would have been locked together. Right. I would have... Popcorn, you got to get your own popcorn. Mm. We can't even we can't even put it in between them. Mm-mm. You know no. what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Don't even reach over. I'm here. sitting on the edge of the chair the whole time. She's like, "Are you really into this?" I'm like, "No, I ain't sitting back." Right. <laughs> you know exactly. Yeah. Oh man, that's hilarious. So let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the movies, mm-hmm. my wife, I love her dearly. Yes. She talks so much trash, but I love her dearly. Right. <laughs> One of her favorite things to do during this time of the year mm-hmm. is watch Christmas movies. Mm, okay. I am not, I repeat, I am not a fan of Christmas movies. Neither am I. Okay. Great. So, you know, I told you she cut at me a little bit earlier today, you know, mm-hmm. didn't hurt. It pinched, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> Cooked their dinner. Right. Found her found her a new Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. The one with Ludacris. Oh, and, what? Uh, yeah, Ludacris is in a Christmas movie, man. Didn't know that. Yeah, I forgot the name of it, but it's a comedian too. It's a it's a uh, uh another comedian he in there as well, right? To the Google. So yeah. So I'm sitting here. I'm sitting there. And I turn this Christmas movie on and she looking at me like, oh my, you gonna watch a Christmas movie with me? Mm-hmm. I said no. I went and got my headphones, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I, I pulled up ESPN on the phone and yeah. I started watching highlights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, the, games. Uh, the rap. What's the name of it? The rap with uh, Little Rail. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's called yep. the wrap. Yep. W R A P, not R A P. Yeah, that's the one she watched and I halfway watched because I was like, I can't believe this. Because mm. there were parts in it that were, you know, it, it was kind of cheesy. But M- mildly entertaining. Mildly entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. You know, like they were saying, oh, this is Santa Claus. And he was like, that's ludicrous. <laughs> you know? And yeah. See, I get you. I, so I did the same thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. I giggled. I was like, okay, that one was okay. You know what I'm saying? But all Christmas movies to me are the same. Yeah. Santa Claus got some, you got some problems. Mm -hmm. Santa Claus comes in and shows you the reason to be jolly through the season. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the movie ends and everything is fine. And Santa Claus rides on out on his sleigh with his, uh, what do you, I was going to say unicorns, but his reindeer. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I've only had one Christmas movie that I've ever liked. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does it have a a male R&B singer in it? It does not. Okay, because that's the one that I like. Okay. Yep. What's, what's yours? Which one do you like? Mine is Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Oh, that was... Yeah, I did see that one. That one yeah. makes me... That one, Sinbad is so hilarious in that movie that it just makes me laugh. Yeah. I like... Uh, it's the one with Chris Brown in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I can't remember. This the name Christmas. Of this Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like that one. Okay. I'll, I'll watch that one. There is one other one that I like just because of who's playing Santa Claus is uh, Bad Santa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that one all the way through. I've no. never seen it all the way through. No. Man. It's just because it it wrecks the the image of this uber uptight Santa Claus. Okay, you know, and he he a drunk, and the elf is a thief. Yeah, it's just completely opposite of what you think. Mm-hmm. You know what what they portray Santa Saint Nick as. Gotcha, gotcha. But gotcha. yeah, bad Santa, and and I'm just not like one of those ones that's got to watch this stuff all the time. I yeah, don't yeah. do that. You so I mean? so so what 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 did Miss Les do? What did Miss Les do with the with, with the movie? So but yeah, oh no, she watched it all. She watched. She it didn't all. move. She she didn't move. She sat there. I fixed her plate. Mm. I barbecued chicken, made rice, mm. made Brussels sprouts with bacon. Mm-hmm. You know, fixed her plate. She sat there with it in her lap, and she was glued in on the mm. TV. The whole time, bro. Glued in. I cannot Didn't move. do anything Christmassy. Be I don't even want to shop for Christmas before December 1st. I'm getting dirty looks because she's like, um, we should pull the Christmas tree down. And I'm like, for what? Right. For what? Mm-hmm. It's not time for the Christmas tree yet. December Let's- 1st. I, you know, she... Usually when when everybody's here at the house for Thanksgiving, she'll pull it out the day after Thanksgiving, right? But I'm not doing that. No, I'm all about December 1st. That's the mm-hmm. only time I'm going to sit there and go through this. Can't, can't now do was, it. I don't want to listen was, to the music. I don't want to watch yeah. the movies. You know, oh, God. And I, don't I, get I me started. I mentioned before how I like, you know, uh, it's this channel, IFC, I think it is. That mm-hmm. would show the mm-hmm. the show Psych, right? Yeah, and they would show yeah. like two two three hours of Psych every day, and that's what mm-hmm. I would watch from two to five every day when I'm working from home. My yeah. TV is on Psych. It's on Psych. <laughs> Since November first, mm-hmm. it hasn't been on because they've been showing nothing but Christmas nothing movies. but Christmas movies. Since November first, yeah. I have been beyond yep. pissed off mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they've been showing nothing but Christmas movies. I don't well, want to see, see it. It seems, it seems like to me this year, they skipped over Thanksgiving and yes. went directly into Christmas. My neighbors have Christmas lights out, outside. Yes. Already. Yes. I'm just like, this is too much for me. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I thought 
that a couple one of my neighbors had Christmas lights up, but they actually had mm-hmm. Halloween lights up. <laughs> I guess I'm just old school, bro. Yeah. Halloween Halloween never had no lights for me no. when I was growing up, bro. No. You got a you got a pillowcase and a sheet if you couldn't afford right. no uh no 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 hol- no costume. I was, you cut some holes in there and you just drape the whole <laughs> sheet over you. I was like over your body. Miss Russ, look at this foolishness. They got ha- they got Christmas lights up already. This back I in bet October. She's ready too. And we, we she jumped, was ready. We jumped in the car, we rolled rolled over there and lo- saw the saw they were orange. I was like, oh, those Halloween lights. <laughs> my wife and daughter are ready they are 100 percent ready we normally now i i'll i can get i let them get away with the christmas starting decorating this saturday after after thanksgiving right did we they start mm-hmm. but they don't finish until december 1st see because Cause they need, oh, we need some new pillows for the front porch. No, mm-hmm. no, yeah. no, we don't. Mm-mm. We Mm-mm. we need a new reef on the door. Mm-hmm. The one we had last year is outdated. We need another one. Then is, oh, look at this little snowman, and then dragging me through places, picking up trinkets the whole time. You know what I mean? I I be oh, I be tired of that. Yeah. Mm-mm, I can't do it. Mm-mm. I'll be tired of it. Yeah, man. I, I, you know, and the other thing that gets me is the folks that don't take the lights down. Yeah, we got a few of them. Mm-hmm. But you know, my neighborhood, we ain't supposed. You know, they supposed we supposed to have HOA up uh, against that. But you know, now they're selling these LED lights. Yeah, that you can tape with a three M tape. Up mm-hmm. around the, the soffit of the mm-hmm. house and it's controlled by app on your phone so you can make them white so they like the house accent lights yeah then you can make them dance to the music mm-hmm. you, can, you can make them strobe like 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 uh christmas lights yeah. i'm like that's what these fools gonna do that's mm-hmm. all they're gonna do they're gonna buy them slap them things up and then you're gonna have in the middle of the summer you're gonna have a dance party at somebody's house going on and off with these damn lights. See, my behind is cheap. So if it ain't they, solar, I ain't putting it out there. I'm hey like, bro, mm-hmm. it's expensive too. Them <laughs> things expensive. Yeah. Pump that. Oh, it's about <laughs> the kids. The, she, yeah, what kid? Right. I ain't got none to live here. Right. And, I got grandchildren. And, and ain't, ain't a single one of y'all contributing to this electricity bill. Hey, right. Nail. Bro, I yeah. walk behind everybody through this mug flipping yeah. lights y'all, on. Y'all want to see some lights? Go to the Speedway. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to rent a pickup truck, throw y'all all in the back. <laughs> y'all be riding up your icicles by the time you get there, but I'm going to throw everybody right. in the back. <laughs> Here goes some hot cocoa. Stop in Starbucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, That's going to be the most expensive thing I'll do. Yeah, let's go to break, man. All right. <laughs> One of your little favorite sayings, um, I was today years old when I, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) So there's one house that we drive by every now and then keeps a, he who, he who, he who, he who shall not be named (laughs) flag up, right? Uh huh. Oh Lord. And so we drove by there today, and I'm like, that flag is gone, but it's replaced with the "Let's Go Brandon," right? Uh. And I'm like, we've seen that for a long time, but I'm like, where the heck is Brandon? Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, me and Miss Russ having this conversation. Like, we ain't heard nothing about Brandon. Where Brandon at? He ain't in the race. I'm like, why they got the flags up? I was today years old. Uh huh. When I found out that Brandon is not a real person, 
No. It's Joe Biden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was today years old. Oh, no. It's a F you to Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. Sarcastic. F you, yeah. Biden. Yeah. What? No. So the whole gist was that there was supposedly, this is where the story came from. Mm -hmm. There was a race and there was a chant that started going Let's on. Go, and, yeah, no, yeah. the chant was actually F you, Biden. The oh, commentator really? heard it and thought they were saying, let's go Brandon after oh, a race of Brandon no. Bowen or something like oh, Brandon Bowen, no. Brandon Bowden. So yeah, I didn't know that much. That's what it that's what it came from was that the commentator thought they said, let's go Brandon. <laughs> and it spread from there as oh, a joke. My God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's, that's the urban that's legend for it. Yes. So I was wow. today years old when I found out that Brandon was not mm -hmm. a real person. I didn't right. know. I actually had to look that up today. I'm like, where is this Brandon dude? Because I saw the flag. <laughs> Who is this Brandon? <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, 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 You know what? I'm going to ask my wife. Does she know what that means? Yeah, ask her. I'm I'm not gonna do it tonight though, because she, you know, she might. She, cut me she don't want. She <laughs> don't want tonight. Yeah, she real. She real flickety risky tonight. I know Mrs. Tonight. West don't know because I said it to her in the car. Yeah, yeah, she don't know either. So she don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go, you know, and and and, and one up her because I know something she don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I know. as a matter of fact, I, don't, I think I'm going to hold on to this one and yeah, wait until it just casually comes up in conversation. I then think just, I think that's a good one for when y'all traveling. Yeah, I don't. Like, hey. I, I got to do it in public. Yeah, I got to oh, got to lay to it in, in public and let her uh -huh. let her stick her foot in her mouth and I, yeah, well, let her no, see who. No, well, no, dear, this is actually <laughs> what it is. Yeah, you trying to get killed. I know, right? Yeah. I know. Oh, boy, because she got that stare. She be looking at you like, mm-hmm, when did you get home? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would hate to be one of the boys growing up, boy. Yeah. God. You, boy, oh. some of them stories. Some of them stories. You know what, man? I think during the holidays, man, during, during the Christmas yeah. break, I, I know all of them are going to be around. I might yeah, record some stuff with them, yeah, just yeah. so they can share some of their horror stories of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's your best and worst moment with your? Oh mother? man, because some of the stuff uh, I've heard, whoo, yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, strong woman raising boys, yeah. You know? But mm -hmm. uh, there was some other stuff, so that got me started to look online and and look up some other stuff about people figuring out that I was today years old. You know, like right, this one. Hit me with one. Hit me with one. Let me see if I know it. I was today years old when I found out that California has a bigger population than all of Canada. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm today years old on that one. Too. Yeah. I was like, that can't be right. I was, I right? just kept thinking, I'm like, there's no, no way that can be right. But is it for real? It, it, it has it here. I have not, I've not. Fact check. So California is bigger than the country. Population. Of Canada. Population wise, country of Canada. Yes. I'm to the Google right now. Mm. That's new. Now nah. do 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 do. do, do, do. <laughs> it's like we on Jeopardy. <laughs> I know. Who is Who Canada? Is? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think over the last few years, with uh, this probably would have been true a few years back, but I yeah. think uh, our, the the last like eight years of presidential stuff or seven and a half has forced yeah. a lot of people from the U.S. to move to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like it, then move. Right. right. 
That wasn't that the saying? If you don't like it, then move. Mm. So it says here Mm -hmm. that the population of Canada has increased for the first nine months by by 776,000 people in the first nine months. Mm. That's a lot of folks that have that have moved to Canada. So Canada has a population nearly 40 million, while California's population is now at 39 million. Whoa. So it was possible. It was possible at one point. Yeah. At one point. At one point, it was actually true. That California had a thirty nine million people yeah. live in California. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this is one that I did know. You okay. know, just just give because it give it to me. Let me see if I know it. Just because I'm greedy. Uh oh. If it's got food, I know you know it. But did you know? That stressed is just desserts spelled backwards. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dumb right now. <laughs> Cause you see I pause. I was like, wait. <laughs> it's today years old. When I found out that stressed is just desserts spelled backwards. See, that's why people eat when they're stressed out. When they stress. Because it's desserts. There you go. I'm going to put that on a hoodie. There you go. Do it. (laughs) Do it. (laughs) Fat boy season. There you go. Do it. Oh, my God. (sighs) That's That's pretty good, though. That one was pretty good. California one had me a little you know, stomp, but that one, that's pretty good. That that's hilarious. That's that's a t-shirt right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Now who come up with this stuff? This is another one that I, I did know. All right. <clears throat> I was today years old when I realized that breakfast is only called that because it's the first time you're eating of the day, hence yeah. you're breaking, breaking your fast. Your fat. Yeah, I knew that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I knew that. I did know that yeah. one. So I was not today yeah. years old when I found that one out. Yeah, neither was I. I let, okay, I'm I'm starting to, to be I'm feeling redeemed. All right. You All know, right. yeah, because I'm sure you you just taught somebody something with that mm-hmm. one. They'll be today years old. <laughs> this one is dumb. But mm-hmm. okay. I was today years old when I found out you're not. If you're not, wait, what? Hold up. <laughs> you said it was dumb. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> I'm the dumb one because I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I was today years old when I found that out. <laughs> I couldn't read. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. I was today oh. years old when I found out if you're not there, you're square. Not because you're not around. Oh, wait. Because you're not around. Okay, that was dumb. So if you're not there, you're square because you're not around. I ain't gonna let's go to move on to the next one. Yeah. Eh. Now that 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 one right there was somebody was square when they wrote that. Right. <laughs> oh man. You got to love people. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I got to click on that one to find that one out. I don't know. Yeah, that one's that one's too dumb. I'm like whoever wrote that one was Okay. <laughs> now this is one I just I I'm I'm going to have to google it. To find out. Oh, Lord. All right. Read it to me. Let me see. 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 I was today years old when I found Mm -hmm. out that Chuck E. Cheese's full name is actually Charles Entertainment Cheese. Yes. I knew that. I did not know that. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. I never knew what the E stood for. Yep. Wow. I used to like Showbiz Pizza over over uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Showbiz was my spot. I don't think I ever had that. Yeah. Show. So on one side of town was Showbiz, which was the side of town mm-hmm. I grew up on. And the other mm. side of town was Chuck E. Cheese. And then before long, Chuck E. Cheese, you know, took over everything. Bought out. Yeah. 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 Now, I was I was raised on Pizza Pizza, Little Caesars. Mm. So before they had all the, the $5 pizzas and all of that good jazz, mm. you got the two pizzas and they came in in a, in, 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 in a sleeve with both pieces together, side by side. And it had like a, you know, a paper covering over it. It said Little Caesars on it. And I thought that was the best pizza in the world back in the day. You know, it was always full of vegetables and all that type of stuff. But, you know, it was pretty expensive back then. I don't know how they went from one of the more expensive pizzas to the cheapest pizza. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I Now, this is one I just found out. Good gosh. I did not okay. know this. All right. right. I was today years old when I found out that Michael Myers mask is just Mm -hmm. a mask of William Shatner spray painted white. I'm about to Google that. I'm Uh, looking at the pictures, dude. Really? Yes. William Shatner? It's a William Shatner mask, just spray painted white. Hmm. They gave him a hell of a forehead. <laughs> oh no, I can see the resemblance. Yes. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. That just messes up so many people's childhoods. I was a Star Trek fan. Mm-hmm. But dude, this William Shatner. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the resemblance. See but... the resemblance. Oh my God. People are horrible. So this is one I, I didn't know. I've never used before. Uh-huh. But I've seen mm-hmm. it, but I've never used it. Right. And you, and you know how. Everybody is all about the abbreviations and text and stuff like that. You know? Oh hell, you know, yeah. IRL uh, and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I was today years old when I found out O O M F stands for one of my followers. You know, I took that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You know your man's took that one wrong, right? <laughs> I knew what the last two letters was, but I didn't know what the first two were. I was trying to figure that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you first said it, I was like, where is yeah. he going with this? And I said, like, oh, yeah, I know where he's going. And yeah, you just confirmed yeah. it for me. <laughs> you already knew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've could, seen that abbreviation before, and I was like, "What does that mean?" We we could use that for he who shall not be named. O orange mf. <laughs> My God! Oh, we're using absolutely. <laughs> I remember the first time somebody. Old orange mf. Old yeah. orange mf. There we go. I'm gonna use that now. O o m f. I remember the first time somebody typed L M A F O. Oh, I was like, I was like, are they calling me a lame-o or something? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mine was uh, T T Y L. Oh, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Yeah. I was like, is that a typo? Are they supposed? To, are they trying to tell me? <laughs> You know, old school telecom, TTL. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, time to live, right? TTL. Right. 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 I'm like, oh, uh, what's that? Right. You know what I mean? What did, they put the Y in the wrong spot. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Hey, that's a whole nother lifestyle. Those abbreviations for mm-hmm. text messaging. Yes. Bruh. I, if you have a if you have a, a teenage child, you you need to find a dictionary to that so you can know what they're saying on their text messaging. Oh man, I I put um I put I K R to R. to Lil Russ one day, and she typed back, "Nobody says that anymore, Dad." <laughs> oh no! Hey, <laughs> you should have said, "I know, right?" <laughs> <laughs> you should have you should have you should have did it again. I you almost know? came back with F U B. Now that's that would have been really bad. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the show with just a little bit of inspiration. In this world, we're going to meet three types of people. And all three of those types of people can be related to a tree. You see, there's a leaf who's going to fall away as soon as the wind blows. You see, we all know that person that's in your life that's going to be gone at the first sign of trouble. There's the branch that seems sturdy, but they'll get weak over time and fall off. You see, we all have those people that was in our life that just stopped communicating with us for no reason at all. And then you have your root. That's your foundation. Those are the people that keep you grounded. See, look around and see the people around you and see which ones are really your roots. See, Manspace Nation, This message is just a reminder. Cherish the people who really stood for you. Mm. I like mine from from the ground up, baby. That's That's why we root together. That's right. Rooted together. That's it. Ground up. Rooted together. That's right. Cut the tree down, but you still got a trunk. That's right. Those and those roots, man, they they run out wide, man. And deep. Mm-hmm. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. Find you some roots in your life. Find some roots, people. Find some roots. Man Space Nation. Desire by the Man Space is gonna be coming pretty soon. You're gonna have to stay tuned to the upcoming episodes of the Man Space Podcast. Check us out on threads. And on our Instagram page at manspacenat1 for additional information. That's it. Fire and desire. Rick James and Tina Marie. I'm Rick James. Tina Marie, tell them goodnight. (laughs) F-U-B. And on that note, (laughs) we're out of here. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Man Space. Whichever platform you listen to us on, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a show. Remember to keep up with all the Manspace updates on our website, themanspacepodcast.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at manspacenat1. Until next time, Manspace Nation, he's Les, I am Russ, and we are out of here. F
you be? All right, Les, let's finish up the show. Les, 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 wake up, man. Sorry, man. I'm tired. I was up late last night. Here, here, try this. Bro, I'm not a coffee drinker. Trust me, man, you'll like it. Man, this is really good. Smooth, no bitter aftertaste either. What brand is this? It's Kairos Life's latest creation, a Brazilian infrared roasted coffee. I really like this. Where can I get it? It's not sold in stores, but you can go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours today. Well, all right. I'm ordering mine now. Manspace Nation, don't miss out. Go to the shop section of the manspacepodcast.com and order yours right now.